everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Diane and in my studio we make videos showing you in detail and real time how to paint beautiful loose watercolours. We release a video almost every day so if you want to learn to paint for relaxation please consider subscribing if you haven't already. That will keep you up to date and you won't miss any of my fabulous content. Hit like and subscribe and don't forget the bell for notifications. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how or one way of painting a beautiful hummingbird. Of course first of all we start off with the sketch and here I'm just roughly outlining the shape of the bird and indicating where his tail is going to be and so on so that when I get the paint involved we can follow the lines and get the whole thing to work really well. If you're not that confident about your drawing skills, just head over to my website, dianeanton.com, and you will find there free downloads of this sketch and many others as well, all there for you to take as often as you like. And that way you can just keep on practicing your painting to your heart's content. No need to worry about learning to draw before you learn to paint. It's not quite like learning to walk before you learn to run, you can just dive in with the paint. So while I carry on with the sketch here, I'll just go over the materials that I used to paint this hummingbird. Um, first of all, I was using a piece of 90 gram, pa 90 gram paper by a company called Zirkel Butten. It's a German company. I've never heard of them before. I don't know if you have, but uh, it's a smooth, it's a what do they call it, hot press paper. So it's a smooth paper as opposed to the usual stuff that we use which tends to be slightly textured. This is actually quite smooth. So it's a slightly different effect and I thought it would be nice for the hummingbird which is obviously a, a delicate creature and uh, I thought maybe a more delicate paper would be appropriate. So that's what I'm painting on and I'm going to use uh, just a couple of colours I'm going to be using some cerulean blue, some indigo, um, some cobalt blue, and some black for the beak. Oh, and also a little bit of violet and a little bit of alizarin crimson. The amount of paint that it takes to paint this bird is absolutely minute. You really don't need to invest a lot of money in this bird. So here we go, I'm just, I've just picked up some black on my brush and I've painted in the beak, which is a, a nice straight line there, just following the line I drew. You need a steady hand for that, don't you, actually? And uh, well, yeah, a deep breath and away you go. And now I'm going to continue on from the beak with uh, the colour of the head and for that I've mixed some cerulean and some indigo to make a dark green and I'm going to let the black from the beak just bleed into the green a little bit um, just to give a kind of um, soft effect there and then I'm just going to encourage the colour to move down the back of the bird a little bit very minimal amount of working of the paint here and because the paper is so soft and smooth um, it really doesn't take very much effort to uh, to cover the area and now the front of the bird is uh, going to be slightly speckledy so with the tip of my brush just the point of the brush I'm indicating some texture some feathery uh, lights and darks on the front there uh, it's quite important to have a pointed brush for this and I'm using a medium round, I think that's about a 7 or 8, quite a new one, so it's got a decent point on it. Um, and now I'm going to, I picked up some indigo, which I'm dropping into the still wet paint on the back of the bird and dragging that down just to give a very light indication of the tail of the hummingbird. When you see these creatures, they're so tiny, they weigh like a, a quarter an ounce or something. It's just ridiculous how small they are. And uh, you want to try to convey that a little bit with, with your painting. 
And now coming in again with a bit more of the turquoise colour, cerulean, perhaps mixed with a little bit of cobalt, and just stippling around there to give a little bit of shape and, and light and dark there to the chest of the bird. And now I'm just mixing up the next colour, which is going to be uh, for the wings. And I'm going to give the wings a little bit of a, a pink tone. So I'm coming in with a very pale, that's a little bit too pale, a very pale uh, wash of alizarin crimson. And it, where it touches the green on the back, I'm going to let that run so that you get a, a violet colour created there. And I've got a little bit of violet as well that I'm picking up and putting in. And really just don't go back into it. Just lay down the stroke and let the paint do the work. Don't, don't try to control it. If you've got more than one colour on your brush, you'll get a very nice blended effect. So just drop it down into the paper. That's why you wanted a smooth sheet of paper so that the paint can flow really freely and not get stuck in all the dips and hollows of rough paper. If you paint like that, you, do, you can get some really good effects. I'm not saying that you can't, but that's not what I wanted this time. And so now I've done um, some cobalt blue near to the body, just to contrast with the pink of the wings at the top there. Now I've got my black and I've gone back in and painted the eye and then the foot. And then I'm going to set the bird aside and let him dry. I probably won't do a second layer of paint on this bird. I think this is going to be enough to convey the lightness of spirit of this bird. You could add a background if you wanted to, a little bit of spatter or a few leaves or a twig or something like that would be nice and I'll probably do that on another video at some point. But you know what? It's time for my tea and I don't want to carry on any longer with this bird. I'm going to stop now and say thank you very much for being with me this evening. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you back here again soon. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And so it's bye bye from me, bye bye from the dogs and bye bye from Tamsin. Bye bye everyone.